Hi, um, I'm on YouTube video here again to, uh, let you know that I thought of an idea. I was thinking back to when I was in high school, where, um, I was in the special needs class. You know, where room 106 is, the room 106. The room where I have my nightmares, even when I'm out of high school for 15 years. I'll get to that story later as to why I have nightmares. <laughs> anyway, in room 106, Um, Mrs. O'Connor ran this program called Independent Living, and what she did was, um, she, uh, had me, Monica, and Katie, three girls, live for a month with each other. And we found a place that shared like a, I don't know if it's like a, what is that called? It wasn't a kindergarten class, but something else it was called. But, um, a little short school up on the hill from where I went to junior high. So, um, and she lived on the same street right there. So then, um, we went on trips every other, uh, weekend, went to the Mall of America, we went, we also went shopping for dinner every once in a while, like I made macaroni and cheese one time, we had this beef roast. And, um, and we just learned skills, like, I swept the floor, and just getting along, and going to high school. So, I was just thinking about this. Here's a choice I want to ask my social worker. If there's, like, another program like that. Um, like a class to retouch on everything before I move out. This is plan A. Ask my um, social worker that. Describe what I did in high school. What I just told you for four minutes. And, um... And if there isn't a class, then what I was really thinking for a, excuse me, for a plan B, okay, just move into an apartment for just one month, see what it's like, okay, get a temporary job somewhere. Where I can go online and see if the word temporary on there. Temporary and I can get paid. And it would be for like one month. And I could have groceries, food, and I could come home every weekend for church. 
like on a Friday. And I could probably buy a air mattress or bring a sleeping bag with extra pillows. And I'll have my computer and, and I'll have my internet set up on in that apartment. So I'll only pay like one month rent and um, just simply live there for a month and have like a part-time temporary job for a month just to see what it's like because I just don't want to stay in an apartment and not know what I'm doing you see what I'm saying and um I was thinking after my 2016 trip vacation for a week I can decide hey was this independent living idea for a month with a temporary job for a month really paid off did I learn anything and if I did I can contact that apartment and say yes I do want to um, have a apartment there be on a waiting list but with me moving in there for just a month, just to try this idea, um, I'll only bring like little th things, like a few books, what I'm reading now, my medication, my laptop, clothes, of course, and um, and a few food. Okay. So this was just an idea. Let me know what you think. I could still be on the waiting list after I move out. Um, after I um, be on the waiting list again, you know. I don't care if, uh, if it's like an apartment to where it's too small. Right now, I don't care. Because I just want to try this idea for a month. But I do want an uh, apartment full time if I would like this idea. You see what I'm saying? Something really big. And then I'll get like a part time job if I like this idea. And, um,. Move out and everything. And, and be on the waiting list. And dad will sell a house. And I'll write a letter to the new owners not to dig where Patty's grave is. Because I'm really, really worried and concerned. That after I've seen this show called, um... Oh, what is it called? Haunted Objects or something? Where this... It's like a Ghostbuster... Thing, like ghost hunters is and stuff this show and 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 I remember seeing this episode where this ghostbuster team came in this house with this lady of the house saying oh I'm being haunted by something I found this bone in the yard it turns out it was like a dog or cat and I just don't want to have them dig um, where Patty is and disturb her rest. Because it's like, you wouldn't want anyone to dig up your dead mom who died of cancer and have her rest disturbed, do you? No. So, why would you want that with a cat or an animal in the backyard? So this is why I want to write that letter to the new owners. And I hope they listen. Because I really hope and pray nothing happens like that to where they dig up her area. Speaking of Patty, I was dreaming about her to where she lived on. And I was like holding her. It was like a miracle. She was still light as a feather though. Kind of frail. 
And I gave her kisses and she didn't mind me holding her like a baby. So anyway, what do you think about this independent living idea? got crap in my eyes okay and it's um august 14th it's my great aunt's birthday she died in um 2007 of january <laughs> happy birthday yeah sissy they called her Flo sissy but her real name was florence florence rap happy birthday